Mary here at Mary's Heirloom Seeds. Uh, we are going to talk about cross-pollination or pollination this morning. We recently posted that one of our garden beds, I accidentally planted delicata squash and pumpkin in the same bed. Not a big deal, um, but they may cross-pollinate. So I won't necessarily be saving the seeds. I might, but we'll see. So let's take a look real quick here. We have this full garden bed of squash and pumpkin. And if we go through here, I wish you could hear the buzzing of the bees. In here, we've got a small delicata squash. And down the line here, hiding away, is a Cinderella pumpkin. That's going to be a pretty big pumpkin. So we're going to find a blossom here. Oh, a bloom. <laughs> and there's another variety of squash I planted in the same place. So you have your blooms here. And it's, it's kind of hard to see with the whole bed here. But all those orange there, those are all blooms. You have male and female flowers on a squash. So the, v, the bees visit the male flowers and pollinate the female flowers. So you have, oh, see there? So you have a tiny baby squash growing. And unless that flower there gets fertilized, it'll just shrivel up and you won't actually get a squash. So oftentimes I get customers asking uh, why they don't have any squash, why they have flowers but no squash. So what you can do is if you want see these flowers here with no squash those are male flowers so you can actually take those as they bloom and then you can cross you can pollinate um, see there's a male flower there and there are some female flowers on the next squash there so what you can do is you can use a uh, any kind of toothbrush you can use a q-tip you can use one of those little teeny makeup brushes or a paint brush, a little tiny one. Um, and you can see if we can get close enough. You can take the pollen there on the inside of the flower um, from that is a male flower. And we'll find a female flower here somewhere. Somewhere. Anyway, you'll find it. You'll know what it is because it's got a ball, a bulb. Um, under the flower so and then you get these awesome squash so just to give you an an idea of the cross-pollination tomatoes will pollinate each other so if you have multiple varieties of tomatoes in one bed really the only reason that you would need to keep them from cross-pollinating oh there you go would be if you want to save those seeds if, even if you decide to save the seeds from plants that may have cross-pollinated, it's not going to hurt. You just might not get the same thing you planted the first time around. Uh, that's not to say that um, it's a GMO. We call that a hybrid. It is a cross between two plants that will normally cross-pollinate in nature. Here we go. Here's some more down here. Another squash there. Another blossom there. So this is a really big plant here, even more here on the ground. Um, there's only one, two, three squash there, and there's one and two on the other side, and it's taken up, I wish I could zoom out here, this entire bed. So you could save the seeds if you plant different varieties in the same place. Just keep in mind that you may have a cross between the two varieties that you planted. Um, again, that's called a hybrid. Um, you may or may not get good fruit from it, but you can always try. Um, I probably won't be saving the seeds from these. We have a tomato here. I want you to see this funky little tomato. Something must have happened when it was growing. <laughs> um, this is a Roma tomato, and it looks like it has a little ring around it. Just looks like some kind of weird development while it was growing, but I'm sure we'll still get great tomatoes from it, some more tomatoes. So that's your just your quick heads up on cross-pollinating. You can plant as many squash as you can fit into a 
raised bed, but they, again, keep in, in mind that they will cross-pollinate. And it's not just in a single bed. They can actually pollinate the next bed over. See, there you go. That's a zucchini squash growing. You have the zucchini growing down and you've got a flower up top there, Oop, right there. So again, those can cross-pollinate from one bed to the next. So if I save these seeds, I'll keep them in my personal stash and see what we grow. Um, thanks for joining us.